And this is the integrated math one practice test for ten red or TCAP, whatever. Question number twelve, we're in sub part two, so we can use calculator here. You may have heard something similar, uh, that, a similar explanation to this in one of the earlier videos from this, depending on how much you're trying to make yourself suffer sitting through all of these. Uh, but if you're only doing a few, I'll redo it a little bit. The equation, this is an exponential function, a is equal to 1750 times 1.04 1 raised to the t power, represents an account balance t years after the account was created. And they want to know which statement is true. They want to know, will the account balance increase or decrease, or and by how much? So something I mentioned earlier is that if I want to show a 5% increase in 100, then I can't just multiply it by 5% or 0 0.05 because all that will tell me is what the increase should be, just the amount of the increase, but not the new total that's been created. In order to adjust for that, I need to multiply the 100 by itself and then add on the 100 times the 5% increase. And you'll end up with 105. But I'll combine these together sometimes and see 1.05. Anything over 1 means it's increasing by a specific amount, you take what's with the one and that would be your percentage of increase you know throughout the year unless it's broken into months or whatever now in this case the other issue uh, like we're kind of at the point where you can get the answer now but uh, I would like to state if it's decreasing so say I wanted to go down by 5% I would just do a subtraction of 0.05 so that would look like this. So see something less than 1, that indicates a decrease. So just be aware that that's the thing. And the nice thing about an exponential is after you run, it's almost like a computer program. After I run the first one, this becomes 95, and 95 becomes my new current value. So then you do 0.95 times 0.95, and then you find your next value, and it would go down and down and down. Uh, but this really tells me how many times, sort of how many times to run the code to get me my answer. So anyway, back down to the question at hand. The part that will tell me whether it's a decrease or increase is right here. This part is a big deal. Uh, and this is 1 plus 0 0.04. So this is an increase. So anything with a decrease is out. And really, I'm just fighting, is it 0.04% or 4%? Now, I said a 5% increase would be 0.05 you don't multiply directly by a percentage, you multiply by the decimal. So I need to convert this back into the percent. So 0 0.04 times 100 gives me a 4% increase each year. So that's that. If you see a number that's less than 1, it's probably a decrease. And then you want to convert that uh, decimal decrease or increase back into a percentage to get you to your final answer uh, for this one, D.